So, Matt, while we stay in the recruiting trail, we'll hit you up uh, for the latest uh, in regards to where Bronco uh, has this program headed. We see D.J. Brown's a defensive back. He was uh, a hard commit here just very recently, and you've got a transfer out of Texas at quarterback. Uh, what's the latest in the recruiting trail? Mm -hmm. uh, Virginia's put together a, a relatively solid class um, wise. Um, I think they're up to 19 or 20 commitments um, for, for this coming cycle, um, which is um, really helpful, really helpful to them um, because they get to concentrate on just a handful of guys the rest of the way. Um, you know, last year's class, I think, was ranked something like 55th or 56th. Uh, in the 24-7 sports composite. Uh, I would look for this year's class to be similar, uh, maybe a little bit better. Um, some classes, um, rankings-wise, that we were seeing under Al Gro or under Mike London, uh, those classes were much more highly regarded. Um, but Virginia has always suffered from an attrition problem. And so, you know, both Al and Mike brought in a lot of studs, um, you know, who weren't able to stay in school. And um, Bronco, I think, has gone out and looking for academic fits. He's looking for kids who are going to be able to stay eligible all four years, who he should be able to develop. And then I think he's going to try to sprinkle in um, some top end talent where he can. Um, outside linebacker looks like a pretty it looks like a strength for this class. They have Noah Taylor. Uh, a kid out of Maryland, and then Javar Garrett, a kid from New Jersey. Both of those guys are pretty highly regarded. Um, they've already gone out and gotten five commitments from offensive linemen, um, which is which Bronco identified early on as being the number one um, kind of thing that needed to be fixed in the program. Um, so he's making some headway there, at least towards building the cupboard back. Um, and they've got, I think they have two wide receivers that they've signed. Um, the, the the name that we're all going to be watching um, in the fall is Ronnie Walker. Um, he is a running back out of Hopewell, Virginia. Um, he's kind of a borderline high high three star, low four star guy. Um, likes UVA quite a bit. Has been to Charlottesville quite a bit. Um, and we're hoping that if, if Virginia can get off to a heart, uh, get off to a hot start, it will be enough to um, kind of push him to make the commit. That would be a big one um, for Bronco and his staff.